Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning into my channel. So I am actually in Nashville and I'm here for work. I'm going to be doing the A Day of Beauty Expo by Dollar General. I'll be going to a brunch tomorrow where I'm going to get to see celebrity Kiki Wyatt. Love her music. And I'll also get to meet um, celebrity stylist Kim Kimball. You probably saw her on a reality show called LA Hair. And uh, Kiki Wyatt was also on a reality show called Hollywood Divas maybe it was Hollywood Divas one of the diva shows and um I've been trying to actively film a what I eat in the day video but it's just not working out like the way I wanted to so this is gonna be a very unique <laughs> what I eat in a day video I brought my vlog camera and so I'm gonna charge it because it just died on me and um, it died on me when I was trying to film like another segment of what I eat so I didn't really get to film that but I'll just kind of talk through what I ate and the bits and pieces that I was able to film I'll just stick that in and, and I'm sorry for the movement I'm using my cell phone and I'm my arms are getting tired so I'm switching from my left hand back to my right hand over and over so just bear with me so this morning I left for the airport and I said I wasn't gonna eat in the cab because I normally the hustle and bustle like getting to the airport uh, is a distraction from my hunger so whenever I do eat breakfast like at home before I leave I end up getting to the airport finding out that I'm like hungry because I like was running around and doing a bunch of stuff like you know the whole hustle and walking through the airport and standing online and all of that so I just no longer eat before I leave home um, and if I am gonna eat I'll take it with me because you can take food into the airplane and even into the airport as long as it's not a liquid so you can't bring your beverages but you can bring your food so I took my um, husband bought me a Trinidadian food called doubles and um, you can see here it has like chickpea inside of it and there's other vegetables inside of it. There's spices and peppers and um, the skin is like a bread like consistency. If you've ever had um, naan or roti, if you've ever eaten Indian food, it's very similar to that. But the doubles is a little bit more squishier um, and chewier and tastier. It has a lot of flavor in it. I don't know exactly what it's made of, but I would assume flour because it's bread-like. So I didn't have that until I got into the airport and was sitting down. So before I even had that, I w went through the airport trying to figure out what am I gonna eat? Because one of the hardest things for me um, when traveling is making the best decisions on eating. And partly because I don't wanna spend a lot of money on food in the airport, I find myself trying to get something that's really inexpensive, but you know that the cheaper the food in like an airport or in a fast food place, the less healthy it is and the less nutritious it is which is so annoying because you can spend like $12 on something relatively healthy and it will be a very small portion but you can go into the Wendy's or the McDonald's or the Burger King in the airport and get an entire meal with a soda fries and a burger or some type of sandwich and it'd be like nine dollars or eight dollars so it's just so annoying so a few of the items that I did see inside of the um, airport, I did find some vegan options. So I'll share with you like what those vegan options were. I was very excited to see them because I don't often see them. But now that I'm like actively looking for things, I think I was able to notice it. So Chibo Express had some vegan wraps and some vegan sandwiches. And I ended up getting the falafel wrap. I've not even eaten the falafel wrap yet, but I do have it. And I'm probably going to eat it in just a little minute. And they had juices. They had the different vegan cookies. Uh, cookies that probably just are vegan you know I, I've heard people say they're vegan by mistake and um, I don't really like to say vegan by mistake because I feel like we don't want to just I don't want veganism to be a mistake it's not a mistake for me it's a conscious choice but people relate to that term vegan by mistake but I'm gonna just say naturally vegan you know like potato chips are naturally vegan they're not made with milk eggs or any animal byproduct for the most part so they're naturally vegan 
but they had a lot of naturally vegan foods like potato chips and um, different vegan cookies and they had juices. So I also got an Odwalla. I got an Odwalla in the green. I, I still have it. I didn't eat that yet or drink that yet. So I got the, the green one. It's called Original Superfood. So I got this one, and I haven't drinking it yet. It's all warm, whatever. I don't even care. I'm going to have that as well. And I bought two bananas, one of which I had on the plane. So I ate one of the bananas on the plane. I ate the doubles, and I had a water. I had a Dasani water, and I drank very little of it because I am the type of person who often has to go to the bathroom. I go in the bathroom... I go to the bathroom before I board the plane. I go to the bathroom during the plane ride. I go to the bathroom right after I get off the plane. So I didn't drink anything. And because of that, I didn't have to use the bathroom on a plane, which was great. So I drank very little and I had the rest of my drink later on. So leaving the airport, um, got to the hotel, leaving the airport. When I got off the plane, I decided I saw a sushi restaurant and I was like, oh, this is like a match made in heaven because one another issue to why I, I don't always make the best choices when it comes to eating on the road, um, vegan or even not when I wasn't vegan and even now that I'm vegan is because the time from when I eat uh, from, you know, getting to the airport until getting to the hotel room is often an extended amount of time. Sometimes I'm going across time zones. Like today, I went from East Coast, Eastern time to now I'm in Central time and I got, I ate my um, doubles for you know my breakfast around 11 a.m. and by the time I got to the hot the hotel you know my flight was two and a half hours so by the time I get to the hotel it's like three o'clock but it's really four o'clock so it's from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. according to like my natural time zone so I'm hungry I'm really really hungry so I grabbed the sushi when I saw that so that I would not get to the hotel and be starving because that's what always happens to me and then I end up getting to the hotel and I'm starving and sometimes hotels have restaurants in them and sometimes they don't and then I have to like figure out where am I going to eat at am I going to like eat here am I going to take an uber somewhere and eat somewhere can I walk to some place and that time of trying to figure out like what am I going to do can be an hour sometimes of just going on the computer and or on my Google Maps or Yelp or whatever, trying to figure out like where I'm going to eat. So that is often one of the hard parts for me with traveling is the time between when I eat before I get on the plane until I finally eat again is so long that I'm not even thinking healthy at that point. I'm like, I need satisfaction. I need to be full. I need to eat like ASAP. So when I saw the sushi restaurant, I was like, Bet I'm getting sushi. I got two avocado rolls and their rolls are eight pieces, not six like how they are where I get my sushi from. Um, and I'm in Nashville. So I don't know if that has anything to do with the sushi, but it didn't taste like what it tastes like in New York. Um, it wasn't bad, but the rice was different. It had a different flavor to the rice. And um, I had, uh, so 16 pieces of sushi and I bought that with a seaweed salad and I was good. I had my water with that and I was good. So the time now is 6 p.m. I don't know if it's 6 p.m. My computer says 6 p.m. So I'm going to assume that's New York time. Yeah, this says 515. So it's five o'clock here, which is six o'clock my time. Um, I'm feeling pretty satisfied in terms of like you know, what I've eaten because sushi is really filling and I had so many pieces, you know, I normally would have two rolls, which is 12 pieces, but I had 16. So I'm a bit, I'm a bit full, but I am going to eat my falafel soon. I'm not sure if I'm going to drink my juice now. Um, I also did go to a restaurant called Jack's and you know, I'm in Nashville, so it's all about the barbecue y'all. We, it's all about the pork shoulders, the barbecue chicken. It's all about that. So we went to this restaurant and I went with my friend Diane Bailey and she got chicken with beans and, um, 
some cucumber or whatever. And I just sat with her. I didn't eat anything. She got a beer with it. I didn't even drink anything. They have some water in the room. So I'm going to have this water. It's going to be my second water for the day. And you all know I drink a 32 ounce thing of water every single morning. And that's like, I have that with every meal. So I have one of those before breakfast. I have one, um, you know, with my lunch, with my dinner. And sometimes, you know, and I also have it in between the day. So I'm like really dehydrated although I don't feel like I'm gonna crash but I feel like I need hydration so I'm gonna drink and um, you know what let me drink What was that, like 20 seconds? 20, 30 seconds? Yeah, I could probably do another one actually because that's like nothing. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I've eaten. And I've been invited to go to BB King's later. And um, of course, because it's BB King's, it's a barbecue spot, which means I'm gonna have French fries. <laughs> So, you know, one of the things about me now that I'm vegan is I don't like, I don't like, I don't waste opportunities to spend time with people in the name of like, I'm vegan, right? You know, like I don't let vegan, being a vegan ruin the fun, you know, I can go to a restaurant like BB King's. I'm going on their website now just to kind of get an idea of um, what their menu is like. But, you know, I know for the most part it's going to be meat. Like, that's what they sell. So how can I veganize is what my husband and, and I always say we, when we think about going to restaurants. We're like, how can we veganize it? You know, if it's not a catered vegan restaurant, you know, not th there's not many catered vegan restaurants, like specialty, I would say specialty vegan restaurants around, you know, if you, if you think about how many restaurants are in a city like New York and you say, well, how many are like vegan? And I don't mean vegan by mistake, like how people say, oh, they have vegan options. You know, they just so happen to have rice and beans on their menu so you can make a vegan dish. I mean that this is a vegan specialty restaurant. It's probably like 3%. It's not much. And that statistic is not factual, y'all. I'm really just coming up with it because I've been in Manhattan and I've typed in vegan and the places that are vegan, they're like a few pop up. But if you type in restaurant, there's hundreds, thousands within city blocks, but very few of them are vegan. So we have to veganize the menu often it's I don't have a problem with that I don't like it doesn't bother me I don't go into um restaurants pissed off because they don't have vegan food no I I'm going with friends I'm going with family and you know they want to you want to go to this restaurant okay no problem and they say oh but can you eat there and I say I'm sure I can and if it comes down to it where the only thing I can eat is french fries then I'm gonna eat french fries with ketchup and I'm gonna enjoy those damn french fries with ketchup. And I I just make it work. Like it's just, it doesn't have to be so difficult if you don't want it to be. You can of course go in and be like miserable because they don't have vegan options and you can be complaining and crying. Oh my God, they don't have anything that I can eat. Or you can make it work. Like just make it work. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I, I hope you can bear with the shaky wobbling wobbliness of the video. And um, I will insert, you know, whatever I do have, whatever I eat for dinner so you can see. And if I get some drinks, I'll insert that too. I got so many comments on my last video when I didn't talk at all because I didn't talk at all. <laughs> so you guys have to bear with me. Like there are some days where 
I really want to make a what I eat in a day video because I'm finally adding some variety to my day but I just don't have the opportunity to like do this because you know when I talk most of the time I'm cutting the footage down I talk for a little bit and I will take a few bites on camera then I go and I sit and I eat but there's some days where I don't even have the opportunity to do that and so what I was doing before was I would just take like a little video of the actual food and nobody liked that we want to hear you talk to not Janelle, we want to hear you talk. We love your personality. So I said, well, let me like not just film the food, but since I have to stand here and make the food, you know, or warm it up and assemble it, then I will just film that. And at least that way the video is a little bit more engaging than just showing you like little videos of what I ate, you know, snippets of it. But I'm actually like showing you how I make it to make it more engaging and also the video would be a little bit longer. But you guys didn't want that either. So I'm going to have to figure out, you know, I need feedback. You have to tell me because on days when I cannot film a what I eat in a day video to get it up for my Monday upload, I need to know what you'll be what is going to make you all happy because I don't want to read comments like we we want to hear you talk we want to hear you talk every time I do that I don't do it all the time but I do want you guys to understand that when I when I can't do this I um you know I just want to like I want to satisfy everybody I want to satisfy everybody you know or maybe I will I don't know. I don't know how to do it. Maybe I could just do a voiceover, you know, would that work? If I put the food up and then do like a voiceover when I'm editing it, you know, because that will be like a separate day. I don't know. But anyway, I love you so much for watching. Bye.